Hi, this is Eric Martin from Board Game Geek News here looking at the Battle of Kemble's Cascade with Sev Schlossinger. How you doing? From Z-Man Games. Hey, and hey. this is a Gen Con 2014 release, I believe? Gen Con 2014. That okay. The goal. And uh, this is a very retro box here. This yes, is a real is. throwback. <laughs> and that's uh, what the game is uh, paying homage to. Okay. So nice. what is the game? What are we, we got... Oh. Well, 80s here we are. Yes, style. we're like 80 style uh, space shooters, right? What do you call it? things like you know Galaga, Galaxian, Defender, you know all those type of uh, games. You are every person has a, a fighter that's uh, represented here in space, and you got different cards over here. Um, uh, on a player's turn, they are uh, allowed to do uh, two actions, and they can do a move and fire action. Uh, you can also expend energy. Energy also represents your life, so you don't want to get down to the skull here because then you're damn it, you're destroyed. But you're not out of the game. You're what's called astral. You can go uh, fix yourself up, buy some upgrades and stuff like that, and then eventually come back uh, from the bottom of the board back into play. Okay. Uh, you also, on your turn, you can expend extra energy to do extra things, extra moves, extra firing, and so on and so forth. Uh, if I want to, if I do a sample turn here, uh, I could show you. So, for example, I'm the yellow player here, and I have my yellow ship here. So, on my turn, I can uh, move or and shoot. Uh, if you could see my weapon here, the rotary cage is showing the direction of my fire here. I have a regular gun. Uh, I do also have missiles here. Uh, what I can do is first you have to determine who goes first and you play initiative with these sensor cards. So here I have 340 to 200, so 340 goes first. Um, I can initiate a fire over here, so I'm going to do one damage. This tells you how much uh, damage uh, the uh, ship has, it takes. Uh, this symbol here is threat, which we'll get into uh, towards the later part of my turn. So let's say I do one damage. I do a firing move, so I take a card, you cover it up, correct? And then I can do... Um, and? Uh, you get the uh, reward. I get a, yep, I get balonium as a yes, reward. Uh, balonium is what's used to buy uh, upgrades like weapons and uh, engines and shields and stuff like that. Um, so what I can do, I did my firing, so I plan to do a move. So I'm going to move my ship one space over here. And I can do extra things, but let's say I'll end my turn here. Um, Upon the end of my turn, I have to assess the threat that's coming at me. And what you do, you have to look at all the eight spaces around my ship and count these symbols over here. And that tells me how much threat I have to deal with in, a, in the next turn. So here I have one, two, three. However, this boss creature over here has these uh, little uh, threat markers that are shooting at me. And as long as it doesn't, there's no blocking terrain here, that's going to come at me as well. So I have one, two, three, four, five threat coming at me. Uh, and we move the threat. I'm trying to see if there was any uh, what's called uh, omni threat, which is threat that affects everybody every turn. Uh, so we see that um, I spent uh, a movement and a fire. I have five threat, five energy. Five will be, if I don't reduce this damage next turn, the threat, this five will, do five will reduce my energy by five, which means that will kill me. But the good thing is, every space you move also reduces your threat. So that, that's basically evasive maneuvering. You're moving, you're dodging the weapons, and so right. on and so forth. So that's how that's reflected. So that's what I would do next turn. If I had shields, that can also reduce the threat. So anything I can do to reduce threat, including maybe use power-up cards. For example, I have, here's one power-up cup. I can do flares, minus two threat. I can play that anytime my turn, reduce my threat by two, and thus making it uh, easier for me on my next turn. Okay. There's also other upgrades as well that you there can add with upgrades. shields. So, for example, here's an engine one, and it cost me four balonium, which I had to buy, but I can pay uh, three balonium and go to up to engine two and get two extra movement. And so I would get one free movement, and this would give me two extra. So theoretically, I could have moved up here as part of one action without expending extra energy. And with extra moves, you're going to reduce your threat and more. So it's all exactly. So you yes, you have a little engine going there. The object of the game is to collect glory, which is represented by these symbols here. And we have a scoreboard over here. So every time you destroy uh, a space square, we call it, uh, whatever the creature has, uh, the boss bot or an asteroid, if it has the information, if it has a glory here, that's how much glory you get. Um, also, I had mentioned that if you get to uh, the skull part, uh, your ship is destroyed. All other players that are still on the table will be able to gain glory because you died and they did not. 
<laughs> and of course, they can and, shoot you too. They, they can, can assist you dying. Uh, absolutely. So as you can see, I got two cubes here. That means the red player had done some threat damage to me, as well as the uh, uh, black player here, which is not on the board. Maybe he's astral right now. Oh well, we're using that as the black player. So he shot me. So actually, what that means is, if I'm destroyed. All other players would get two glory plus one for each cube they have on my captain uh, display here. Right. Uh, but one thing I didn't explain, so at the end of my turn, after I resolve threat here, um, and after uh, a whole round, after everybody has gone, we now have to do what's called scrolling because it is a scrolling s uh, shooter. So we represent this by anybody that's in the bottom row has to move up. Uh-oh, he just fell into a black hole, so he's destroyed. So we would have to resolve that, but you would remove the tray here, push these down, remove these cards, and you would replace these cards with new space cards. So we would flip over new space cards, and we would place them on the board and i'm just doing it yeah these are kind of mixed up from yes they're mixed other up from games previous games correct so you would do that usually the boss part signifies the end there are lots of things there are different classes of ships this tells you how much energy it requires to destroy them you have to do that in one turn and when destroyed you get to uh, accumulate whatever bonuses you have a recharge station so you can get energy the black hole as we saw can destroy things uh, you have asteroids that are blocking objects if you run into them they'll do damage to you and you'll have to move left or right one space but some asteroids you can destroy and it's represented by how much energy uh, it takes to do that uh, you have things like alien mazes uh, alien sing singularities uh, you have a special square called the merchant where you can land on him and shop for an extra balonium so usually when you buy upgrades you have to either choose to do a battle round or a power down route a round so if you battle i showed you a battle round with how i went but a power down route is you're able to recharge some of your energy and then you're also able to buy some upgrades so it gives you a little breather and stuff like that but you still have to deal with threat and you will still get a new threat that has to be resolved for the next turn okay i uh, got a warp hole yeah down yep. here to yes, wormhole. Yeah, wormhole if you go here you have to go to another one but there isn't another one available here but if there was one here you can pop into there and start moving things uh, here you have turrets that shoot stuff and they're destructible uh, here are a power-up uh, station so you can get power-up cards one of which I use if I wanted the minus two threat for example um, there's a whole bunch of power -up cards there are also missions that you can try to accomplish and they're worth glory when they when they're accomplished and they you keep track of them for example this one says and you turn with only one energy four times so you use your markers to keep track of it and when you've done it you've accomplished a mission you get glory and you get another mission Mission. There are also achievement cards that at the end of a turn, if you've achieved any of this, you can grab them and do what it says, get the glory, and um, there's a, you know, and then it gets replaced uh, immediately. Okay. All right. So this is a one to five player game. Cool. So there's lots of you can have lots of competition on there, competition. or just go it alone. Absolutely, yes, there is a solo variant. Uh, it really it also depends on the uh, the space cards that you put into deck. So you basically form uh, a different, what we call level pack. So if you'll notice, you'll see F2 here, uh, you'll see A1 here, uh, W1. So these are like special tiles, the uh, special cards. These are asteroid cards. You have fleet cards, fighter cards. So you can mix them up. So you can have, you know, three F2 cards, five A1 cards. That So you'll know the order in that way, but you'll just put them down and you don't know what's going to come out right. the bosses are usually random although you can have a fixed boss but you would have a boss card that that shows up uh, but you didn't know which one you put in and then that will tell you which one to add to the game so when you get to the last uh, few scrolls when the boss shows up you place them down and you can see here's a boss that takes up one whole row over right. here and he's uh, looks like a pretty uh, tough one over there to beat and you scroll through till the last and line and the last line and then the game is over and you uh, whoever uh, has the most glory wins the game All right. thanks very much anything else there's a lot of stuff uh, that I don't know a lot of stuff. yes I don't want to go I, I guess there are too much details but I believe that's the the gist of the game it's uh, shoot get balonium buy cool stuff beat the boss gets lots of glory and win All right. thanks for the review you got it